What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be breaking down kind of part two of the U-Trips mini scheme, talking a little bit about the play Pearl Flat and how you can use this to absolutely torch 30 yard cloud flats in Madden 21. If you're new to the channel, my name's Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focused on helping people become the best Madden players that they could possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows us to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now in this video, we're continuing in our U-Trips, uh, or Why Off Trips Pads mini scheme out of the New England Patriots playbook. If you want to get my entire New England Patriots offensive guide, you can get that down in the description. I've covered the entire playbook from the bunch formation to the trip side information to the U-Trips to the spread to the A slot to split close. Every single formation in New England is broken down in detail in that ebook. So if you want to get that, that is available down in the description. But the play we're talking about is curl flats. And like I said, my my uh, flats are on 30. My curl flats are on uh, 10. And then my hook curls are also on 10. And so I'm going to show you how to just kill uh, maple cover, like absolutely obliterate maple coverage with this. Uh, and it's honestly relatively simple. So all we're going to do is we are going to put the triangle receiver or the running back on this play on an option route and then we're just going to streak the square receiver and that's pretty much it we're just going to snap the ball and what you're going to see is that this option route is going to hold that that um, cloud and then i'm going to be able to hit this over the top of a 30 yard cloud flat for about 40 to 50 yards uh down the field which is really, really cool. So again, I've got the safety on the cloud. You're gonna see here that we're gonna you know, have really, really good coverage. And they're gonna basic, typically what's gonna happen is their user is gonna pass that post off to the cloud flat. And once he passes him off, you're gonna see outside pass lead. And right there, Brady, I don't know why Brady's been struggling so much um, in the last couple of videos, but let me just show you what this looks like. So again, if I just do this, all I'm doing is I'm running off the outside third with square, and then I'm holding the deep blue or the, the cloud flat with an option route. And you'll see this R1 all the way to the sideline. That's what we're looking for right there. Obviously we want him to catch the ball, but as you can see, it gets over the top of that coverage. Now, one little hot route that I like to do, and the reason I like to do this is because it's typically gonna pull their user out of the middle of the field, or it's gonna pull, not out of the middle of the field, but it's gonna pull him, um, it's just gonna pull him to hold on the middle. So what I mean by that is he's, he's not just gonna be able to guard the post, okay? So this is a simple little um, kind of add-on to this setup, and that's to take the circle receiver and put him on a, put him on a simple little, um, little smart routed dig right over the middle of the field. And the reason I like this is because this flows really naturally with this play. And so you can still hit this route to R1, right? Nothing changes for that. But let's say that their user starts to kind of get wise to this and he starts to really want to go after the slot. Um, he starts to really just basically kind of key in on the slot and tries to take the slot away. Well, this is gonna create a lot of openings for the rest of the offense, in particular, this circle receiver. So you're gonna see um, right there, I can pass lead that ball up, and as you can see right there, the circle receiver is absolutely wide open after they kind of go throughout this, you know, this, this deal. The other thing that's gonna happen is if they are usering over on the right side of the field, okay, it's unlikely that they're gonna put a yellow zone. So if they did something like this, and then they're usering over here as well, what that's gonna do is it's going to leave them very vulnerable. And so if we just maybe simply bluff them, essentially, um, and we use the hitch flat combination, um, now you'll see the hitch, it's gonna to start to open up a lot of passing lanes for the hitch. So that's the beauty of this offense is it really forces them to have to, you know, basically just make a decision where their user is going to go. And if their user goes to the right side of the field and they also have a vertical hook over on that side of the field, then that's going to leave a lot of different opportunities open for us. Um, another example of one would be if we took the running back and put him on a simple little streak route just like this and then ran the play like this, you're going to see that this 
uh, running back streak is still going to run people off, and then you're going to throw this in behind it. So that's another little way that you can kind of uh, manipulate the coverage with some different hot routes and things like that that the opponent is just going to have to respect. Because once they start to have to be forced to use or the slot over here, this is going to open up a lot of windows, um, a lot of different routes for your offense, uh, for example. And that's why I would I would say you could put the running back on an option route, but you could also put him on a curl route. Um, you'll see the curl route doesn't quite open this up as much as an option does. If you have hot route master, you could put him on a ghost route as well. Um, the thing that you want to watch out for, especially out of few trips, is that right there. If you start to notice that they're manning up the running back, this is a very popular tactic. Um, and so then what we can do is this now will allow us to do a lot of other things against them. For example, this is where our hitch becomes so much more wide open. You see they're manned up, there's no zone over there, and I can just take the hitch over and over and over again. So these are simple little concepts that when you blend the two of them together, create a really, really good passing offense out of this u trip something that can do a lot and have the answers to really anything the defense is going to throw your way. And so if you want to get our entire u trips offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description of this video, and you can get it for just 10 bucks. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or you want to get my free schemes, feel free to text me. My number is 208-218-6900.